Yeah, everyone, I'm back. And guess what? This time, we got more for you. Don't worry, it's no more Mainline's Closer Eyes. I found all the endings to that anyway. What we have is what's included in the Goodie Bad DLC. So yeah, strap in. Uh, I won't show you the uh, content, because, you know, I don't know if that's included in what... Well, actually, I found out this game's free on Steam now. So if you want to have a play, you know, give it a download. Yeah, I know. I paid the whatever... Pound thirty or I think it was on sale at the time, whatever. I was just paid that at the time and I'd pay it again. I think it was well worth it. Just a couple of years ago. I mean, no wait, twenty fourteen, jeez. Yeah, no, it was ages ago now. So yeah. Paid that, I'd be happy to pay it again. Support the devs. Everyone should support their devs. Only pirate EA games, you know boys. No, no pirate shit. Just so you know. Piracy is bad, especially if you live in Somalia. Please don't do that. You know, stop kidnapping people. It's not very nice. <laughs> anyway, I think I've talked for enough. So let's jump into this DLC thing they got going. Let's go. Scores a gateway to another world. Different, but similar to our own. It is not part of the main game. And it's not by purchase of the goodie bag DLC for Close Your Eyes. It will commence the girls' graveyard minigame. Are we ready for this, boys? Yes, we are. <laughs> to be honest, I might move this uh, webcam thing to the other side. I feel like <laughs> you might miss a bit less with that. Just I'll play with that. Need a bit more too, <laughs> just in case. I felt like you missed a lot more. A lot of stuff that's happened towards top left, I think. <laughs> And I'm blocking out the moon. God, this put me right in the middle of the screen. Yeah, no, I'm not putting it up there. <laughs> See what's happening. I'll press start right here. File 15. <laughs> so uh, basically, what happened was my recording, basically, the frame rate dropped to about one frame a minute from here on out for the next 40, no, 30 minutes, I think. So yeah, basically, I'm going to just play through that again. And you'll see me playing through. You won't have first reactions, but you'll see me sort of raging. Give me advice. But yeah, I'll join up just before I left, so you see, you know, my reaction to most of the horror stuff later on. So, see you there. Candies are important. Let's go. If I 16, that's where we're going to save it. Just, yeah. So, tips and tricks. Collect pieces of candy and return to the house to complete the run. They're a bit faster than ghosts. Slowly gain an edge on them by running away. Ghosts are a bit puzzled by real-world objects. A good tip to evade is to hug against the grave and wait to see which direction the ghost goes, then go the opposite way. That's a fast but consistent. Timing when to run by makes all the difference. And not actually consistent. Anyway, so round to run all. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna jump straight into this. Hello. Hello. There's this masky boy we saw in the beginning. That's me. Like, which girl? Yeah, we got these ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah. Yes, ghost movements can be kind of random. I think the way they programmed is to just, you know, run a certain amount and then they'll take one step in a random direction oh no i fucked it i've done this before this is world one and i fucked it this thing yeah so i think sometimes they'll they'll go for distance and they take a step in a random direction what's that is that could really mess with you sometimes if they get into the wrong place which can then end your round pretty quick anyway i'm uh talking about this game so as you can see it's like a pac-man style thing everything's arranged into squares Fuck. look at me i'm already failing so everything's arranged into squares and that can be kind of annoying you know a bit like when pac-man commands you know you're like i want to go down and then pac-man you know waits to go down because it's you split up into squares you know the size of one of these graves oh, i can do this jeez anyway, i'm talking i'm thinking about what i'm saying at the same time anyway so yeah that's juke to your ass. Yeah. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Yeah, no, so the squares can be annoying, so some of the movement commands it can be a bit jittery. Oh, all the ghosts come to me now. So, see, you can see them move away for a bit. They're like, ooh, ooh, move around. That can really fuck you over. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, as you can see, the candy turns into a little girl. Ooh. I'm gonna pretend like I don't know what's coming, so I have no idea. Go. Red hooded girl. Juke to your ass, bitch. Yeah. Oh no. It's a thing. 
big dead ends. Cause the way the movement commands work, you sometimes end up running your ass into a dead end. It's not really a dead end, but it's just like the corner. Candy! So yeah. Oh yeah, for that girl, just appearing. Just turning my hand. See, I'm having fun. That sweetness, love. I'm trying to do that love. It's not even look like a heart. Not really. Yeah, no. See, nothing happens. I tried yeah, no, the first one, just leaving it to see what would happen. But yeah, no, it's just a drifting back. One together. Around two to one. Level 16. The music gets more intense. And there goes to boy. I said, no, no, this would be quicker. I said, I know what I'm doing. I said, oh. Thanks. See, they take random steps. Wait, hold on. Grab me again. Oh, we're introducing the bridges on this. Oh, and the bat. Yeah, see, bats they like patrol an area. Yeah, we'll do this. That's patrol now. La la. Yeah, that's a patrolling area. So you can just find me away from. Maybe not that fast than you, obviously. That's where you have to be really quite a full size. Sometimes just tap. I was talking. Talking and doing this sometimes don't mix very well. So yeah, sometimes, you know, if you just want to tap it, because, like, there are eight squares, three, three, two, yeah, eight squares in a bat's rotation. So, sometimes you just want to tap it, because each command will push you forward one square. So there, and then hit it go. Yeah, each command will push you forward one square, so sometimes then you don't wanna you'll overrun spaces and stuff because you're just trying to you know, get through. Yeah, into round three, this is where you start mixing up the ghosts and bats. Ghosts and bats. Like ghosts and bats interfere with each other, like oh, I was trying to point it out on the screen, but you can see them interfering with each other. On the bottom left, so yeah. These are they're just lakes, so I'm not really going at this point. Luring ghosts is sometimes a thing you have to do, especially on this level. So you gotta lure this boy down this. Yeah, it's problematic. Okay, I guess what? <coughs> I don't remember if I went this way for a while. Fuck. See? It's a little ghost, so he gets stuck on this point. And I was just lucky to tell me. Fuck, he went there. Oh, I took a step too soon. Yeah, alright, maybe I will get the this, especially now that I've done it. I should be real. Alright, he's going. Oh, look at that timing. Oh, I thought he would interfere with that bat, but no. Oh, look at him taking this. Oh! Guess that's gonna be rage, boys. Yeah, what I found is the best way. You bait him around here somehow. Get around here. And try and work the ghost down here. Sometimes if you can beat the ghost on the way up, it'll stay. That's how the bridge, if you come down on the other side. Fuck! 
See, I was going down a square. But I wanted to be going sideways, but you can't until you finish the square. Square movement works. Oh, there you go. Oh no, I can't move him down now, unfortunately. They got stuck, so maybe I'll lose interest. Until I help Oscar. I'm gonna keep going because unfortunately no. See? This thing kinda has to follow you. So you can come back. That's really nice one I thought. Hello ghost boy. Awesome time. I think I can get over that bridge now. This one is a bitch. So the route I found to start at the beginning of it is pretty simple. You come around here, you got two safe squares here and here. And you run around at that point. Now here's where the trouble comes up. That ghost is really unpredictable. Because it is random joy. Yeah, Jettering, but they do. So what I do is to give yourself the maximum time, because the safe square you've got is only temporary. Use that to come around here, and then if that happens, the ghost will come around there, and you're boned. You can use it to juke up. You know enough of the lie of the land at that time. See that? Got stuck, but. <coughs> Sorry, waiting down there. We got the other one here. There, yeah, see? You got stuck on him. Oh, boom. Now you come along the bottom of this one. That's a safe spot, that's a safe spot, that's a safe spot. Everywhere I'm going now. See? That ghost as well. It's, if he's up there, and he gets down onto that middle bit between the two ponds, you're absolutely fucked. Nothing you can do. Let's go. See? Very good stuff. Oh, depending on where that other bat is. This is all safe here. I got stuck because I went that way. Mm. Oh, this one already giving me second hand damage because I remember all the times I was stuck in it before. I knew that was over. Me the whole way. I'm getting stuck in a bat. Well, he has to worry about bats. It's just like, I'll get in his way. Oh, yes. See, it's all luck, depending on which way the ghost goes. Let's say he's gone. I think I've got enough time to get through on this one. He <laughs> followed me!
Oh. See her. She's up there. So, oh shit, you can't see her. Look at her. She's up there. Look at her. Look at her. Up there. She's coming to steal your mans. That's what she's doing. She's coming to steal your mans. I can tell you. you know, she's just stealing your candy. What's she doing? She's coming to steal your mans. She's trying to steal your mans. You're trying to steal my mans, bitch. You're trying to steal my friggin' mans. Hmm. I know you're trying to steal my mans. 16. I see, I see you. I see you I'm trying to you steal my mans. Steal my mans. Steal, oh, fuck. I did a perfect thing. Hang on. I'm gonna go set this up. Set this up, sorry. Anyway, so look. Steal my mans. Steal my mans. Look at what, what, what the fuck is you looking at, huh? She's gonna slap you. She's fucking slap you, bitch ass. She's trying to steal my mans, bitch. Fucking hands off my mans. Hands off. You I can't believe you. <coughs> you trying to steal my man's can't believe you trying to steal my my man's can't believe you. You got something to say for yourself? Got something to say? Didn't think so. Hmm. I'm gonna go get you candy. That, that bitch won't get you candy. Oops. That's you can see the anger in those eyes. Those are some angry eyes. You can see the anger, can't you? You know I'm angry. I know mean, this one. Part four. Seems simpler than three. And to be honest, concept wise, it is. This guy, you know. Everything's segmented, so this guy's pretty easy. He's got safe zones above and below. Use those to duck him. This guy, this guy was, you wanted to lure him onto this section. Fortunately, that was too much lured. That was too much lured, because I was talking too much thinking ahead. What I was going to say. So what you want is, yeah, you miss that boy, you get on these safe spaces. Get on those safe spaces. Wait here, I'll we'll come around. not where you wanted to go, unfortunately. <coughs> so yeah, on to safe spaces, let him go past, on to the safe spaces, let him go past, wait here, wait for him to pass, go duck down here, wait for the ghost to come for you, find out which way he's going, go around him, here's this bit here, juke him down around here, get him to go that way, that's really important, because then you want him to stay on this side, when you jump down here, he'll follow you. And then this ghosty boy is going to come after you. Because you got to keep each ghost in their respective bits. Otherwise, you want to head down real quick. Yeah, that's, you always want to head down. Oh no, I brought him with me. Brought him with me. I think you want to keep each ghost in their respective bits. You don't want to go up. Because that will bring you. The other ghost in. Just bait them out, bait and switch, bait and switch. And down and run upwards, and upwards and downwards. Boom, you see me? Are you coming for me? Are you coming for me? Go here, down here. No, I'm going downwards. Ugh! Oh boy, you cut kind of lose him in that bit, that's what... Mm. Gets me. I'm trying to rush through this, see. That's getting me a couple of times. Right here. <sighs> Can't 
remember what my strat was for part four. Is that even part four? This is part one. Almost through. I think going up might be the strat. I took a step too far and I didn't try and correct myself. Yeah, notice something else? The game's getting a bit more fragmented around the edges. World's falling apart. around the top Whoops. you go around no around the top okay used to mirrors look for just be look at that bitch it's a man stealing bitch stole by she replaced my mans with fives fives I like some old fives of CT five 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 oh, it's gotta be CT triple fives right what's fives number no in this game love let's go bitch and go. One, two. Follow numbers. Numbers, Mason. What do they mean? They mean the minigame is broken. It's all fives' fault. He filled it with fives. Fives' best trooper. I know exactly what this is, so I'm gonna go with what my original thing was. Is that a dick? Is that a fucking dick? Don't stab your fucking dick! Do not! Stab! Yo! Dick! And we back here. Back here? For you guys. This is the first time. Sorry. It's a problem with recording getting corrupted. I gotta make up this new shit. Where before I'm like... Can I do anything with these? No. Can't remember. I just wanna remember there's no dialogue prompts either. No. Snake woman. Snake woman. Oh, you broke it. Forgot about that. And now it's gonna be another one. I know, I'm prepared. I thought it was gonna be on the fish, but yeah. Got that candy. Oh, fucking man stealing bitch! Cracking the wall. Let's go. Yeah, it's a bitch. Thinking they know what's up. Yeah, we show them. Let me push myself along my arms. Cause you, in that other corridor, you can't really see the legs, so it looks like you're pushing yourself along with the hands. Ooh, through the door. Alright, this is basically where I left. So basically, you leave a bunch of stuff here. Ocean is more ancient than the mountains, and freight with the memories and the dreams of time. I forgot, that's also in the uh, next bit. You're gonna see this, so I'm gonna skip through it. So basically, when you read this book, Tenebros this is the first thing I did actually in my play, so I read this. So I think this means. So, shadowy words, I think, or. I'm, I'm, 
Well, that's a bit shit. I did it for a bit because it got me an easy access to a trip. So that's why I did last and all the way up to GCSE. Got on a trip for that. I'd say it was worth. Uh, I think that's worth of the shadow. I think Tenebros. I think it's something like Tenebra or something like that. It's related to Shadow. Shadow and whatever well, that sounds like. Words. <laughs> anyway, shadowy words, maybe. Something like that. Read it. Yeah, we're gonna read it. The umbra salient anthema quandum e apparare to amor est certa precare est inanis. So I think that from the shadows bleed anthems or come exit, 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 that's right. So uh, anthems exit from the shadows who when he appears, your death is certain. Precautions are inane, so I don't know, maybe something like that. I don't know. So preparation is futile, resistance is futile, something like that. I'm gonna read this book. Latin, huh? That's probably a lot of what I you thought. Hello, blobby boys. Hello, what's up? Hello, how you doing, these blobby boys spawn? And you die. Yeah. So. Yeah. You die to those blobby boys. The funny thing is about those blobby boys. They take up two space. Because you know I was talking about squares before. You know you move from one square to the other. The thing is. When you're moving you take up. Fucking hate that. You take up mostly one square at a time. I think. Whereas those boys when they're moving. Before they even look like they're moving, they, um, yeah, they'll appear to be moving at that point. The square they're moving to becomes unviable as a place to move, pretty much. So, yeah, no, you'll see them all like, turn away to face whichever way they're moving. So, yeah. And I think, so I'm gonna read this. Read, because I think, as far as I'm aware, this one, this one, and this one were all read by me before the thing was bad, and then in this room it sort of fixed itself. So yeah, if not, I'll cut off whichever bit had been. Yeah. I right, gotta read it from the bottom. Red room curse. Is this the red room? Read. Yep. Yep. I know what that means. It means... I don't know what it means. Me personally, I do, but yeah, candy is a bit of a theme in this game, right? Yeah, let's read this. It's nothing to be read. I think I came off that anyway. Let's read this bad boy. Hey, okay. um, you find it. This is supposed to be written by some guy with a southern twang, so apologies. Whatever accent I start to put on right here. Plague Doc, Plague Doctor. Read. Yeah. Down in nowhere, USA, in the small settlement known as Cobbletown. There's an old abandoned farm known as the Vercel Estate. Many legends and myths surround this mysterious farm, but they all have one thing in common. The Plague Doctor. Said by some to be a man driven insane by others, terrible demon. Not much is known about him, or even if he truly exists. Jeez, southern thing's going down. It's going down south, to be true. But I know the truth. My younger brother and I once went into the farm, just looking around, you know. Found my younger brother with his skin peeled back, meat hooks piercing his muscle tissue. I ran. I kept running and running till I could run no more. While I ran, I swore I could see a shadow cast of an unbelievably tall man with a long beak right behind my own. I tried to warn that town. No, I begged them to believe me. But none of them took me seriously. That town is a town full of crazies, I tell you. Absolutely crazy. I tried to forget, but I can't. Every once in a while, when I pull back the shower curtain for a moment, I see my younger brother, his skin missing, and his muscles bleeding. 
in the dim light as I lay to rest. As I can't sleep with the lights off no more. I swear I see that impossibly tall shadow. If you ever happen to pass by a strange little settlement known as Cobbletown, please do not enter or sell the estate and suffer as I have. Such horrible places like that have no right to exist in this world. Okay. I oh, know that's you again. Okay. So, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to pick it up again. And, yeah, we'll get to see some more first impressions, a little more horror things, and less ragey things. There have been a couple more ragey minigames, I think, coming up, but, yeah. Unfortunately, you missed out on that because of, you know, technology. Can't read the Japanese. Ocean is what each of them about it, and phrase it with the memories and the truths of time. Right, we get the latter. Words of the Shadow. Ah, uh, that's a uh, leaf. Whoa, we're in the dreamscape. Close your eyes. Oh, look, a flower. Interact with it. Oh, a Morbus Basin with the weird snake lady. Can't interact with that either. Another flower. Oh, let's walk to the crazy lady. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Actually, nothing bad did happen. This fish boy. Um, basin. Oh no. Her eyes are open. Or oh, missing. I'll oh, follow the flowers, I think. <laughs> I don't see anything. Ah, oh, another flower. What the hell? That is a hat. Oh, there you are, bitch. Oh, so now you come crawling back in this creepy-ass dark graveyard, huh? Well, no. No, bitch. No. No more hello. I swear to God, if they make me play this game. Was that what it meant? Do I like heavy? Am I about to be fucking jump-scared? Oh, candy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Fucking no. Oh. It's still a harder level. Oh, I can move. I was trying to skip it or something. Why can't I move? The laughing portals are the only way to progress. Except they aren't. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not creepy at all.
how you can walk out with us. But you can, I thought they'd send you back to the Laughing Dimension. The Laughing Dimension or not? Where, where am I supposed to be going? Aha! The laughing Lake. Have a little bit of a look for him, please, boys. Hello. Well, the aim seems to be to leave through the top. Oh, but the, the game is not going to be panning that way. Or just let me in the sleep on down. It's going to keep heading upwards at every opportunity I get. Oh, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Maybe downwards. I don't know what I'm looking for, really. <sighs> like, I actually... Where the fuck I'm going? What I'm looking for? <sighs> so I'm gonna just aimlessly wander real quick. This out if it's real boring. <laughs> but jeez, I'm just Let the aimless wandering commence. Content. You're just walking around in the dark aimlessly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Fuck it, you bitch. No, don't put me back! <laughs> bitch. something else. Is this the red room? Am I in the red room? I feel like this is the red room. He dunned me. I was bringing candies. Maybe it was him. This, this is not a yes or no. I'm, I'm just in the red room. Please, can I leave? I want to. I want to leave. this. Can I? Can I please be? Fuck! I don't know what that was supposed to say. But it says, "Do you like the red room?" So there is nothing in there. I do not like the red room. Can you find me? Oh joy! There's someone in here. But we're gonna do a standard sort of. I said so, but are you gonna go in with him? Have I found you? I think I found Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Oh, fuck off. Oh, hello. Is that supposed to be, <laughs> supposed to be something? No, uh, maybe it's just. Oh, 
Oh, I saw you, bitch. I saw you, man stealing motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you still here. Swear to God, bitch. You stole my bolt, my man's. I'm not coming to steal him back. I'm just here to slap your bitch ass from here to Nevada. <laughs> oh, they ate you dead already? Bitch. I'm gonna slap the bitch ass out of you anyway. Huh? You wanna go? You wanna fucking go? Huh? Huh? Oh, you're dead. Can't slap the bitch out of it. Out of the dead girl. Yes. Candy. Just have a look around the edges. Yeah, I think. Alright. That was my. Didn't even get a candy! <laughs> oh, they. You freaking naked. That was your clothes. Tick tock, tick tock, bitch. A slap's gonna hurt a hell of a lot more if you ain't wearing no protection. Go oh, sweet. Bitch. You stole my man's. We gonna have a bit of a problem. You ain't gonna work your way out of this. I can't wait. Oh, you're about to eat me? I'll tell you why I use my kung fu on you, bitch. Too sweet. Oh. Haha, -ha, you can't eat me now. Don't bother. Oh, really? How old is he? You stole my man. Is he fucking pedo or something? Tick tock, tick tock. Goes the clock. Yeah. I watched. Fucking perving too. I cried. Oh wait, you're just talking about TV. Why are you so sweet? I don't know, maybe that's... A bit more sour. Oh fuck, you want nice sour candies? Look at you. <sighs> Tick tock. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You know what a cop is. You glanced. You spoke. Why now? She talking to me? I, I don't. Why the. Bitch, like you, you are. I. And my man's gets torn by some crazy girl. 16. Oh no, I'm out of. Put it in 14. You're her bother. Oh, fuck, what the hell is that? Oh, he kills you. Yeah, maybe running from the little alien. What's in that noise? Just fapping or some shit. Well, it's no fapping. Oh. I don't bother. I go around here. Fuck, it's like a bunch of Darth Vader. It's time to go. Unless you got a gun in here. I can use. No. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna leave, Mr. Creepy Alien Man. Oh, fuck, you back. Oh, fuck, we fighting now? Face off. Let's go. Why? You fucking turn it! Fucking tentacle monster. You were once the same. I was never a tentacle monster. Never the same. Yeah. Tick tock, tick tock, turn right across the top. And then it's froze and never stopped. Tick tock, tick tock. I hate you. I fuck you too, then. Oh shit, she Deadpool! Shit, fuck, Deadpool. It's fucking Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds, I'm sorry. I love you, Ryan Reynolds. Please, no. Please, no. Ah! Ryan Reynolds, please. I love you. Please don't hurt. Please don't hurt me. No! Ah! ah. Ryan, please. Please, no. Oh my god, there are many! So many Deadpools! What the fuck? It's like that Spider-Man thingy, but with Deadpools. And they're not even Deadpools. Oh, fuck. 
Jimmy, you know, trying to be fucking running away from fuck ton of dead pools real quick. Excuse me. Fucking running. Let's see. Oh, that pool shit. Oh no. Oh no, get Oh no, run this way. You guys can't fucking catch me. Y'all can't fucking catch me! Catch you on Deadpool! I'm Green Arrow, I guess. Good Deadpool. I'm not Green Arrow, I'm uh, Poison Ivy. It's much better. Except I was good, I'm sweet. Poison Ivy ain't no sweet. <laughs> fucking look how many of them there are. I'm sorry, Ryan Reynolds. What did I do? I'm supposed to be going somewhere, do I have to, do they have to catch me? I swear to god I found literally nothing except more Deadpools. It's just more of you. I'm just being chased by a fuck ton of Deadpools. I'm gonna just kill them. What am I supposed to do? Like, I was just running around and everything seemed to loop back onto itself, so. <sighs> just gonna just cling to these boys. <laughs> No, this is exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down from these boys because I think down's the way to go. Because you can't go up. So yeah, down's gotta be the way. Down has to be the way, boys. Okay, remember those two blocks where they are. That's just the way to go. Okay. Let's see. Block repetition. Wait. No, that's not. I think I repeated shape seems to actually What the hell am I supposed to run? Oh, the bottom. Hey. Oh. Are we fighting now? You stole my fucking, fucking, fucking hands. You're a tentacle monster. I'm not. Don't think we're kindred spirits. If I can do it, so can you. What? You just here to motivate me? You didn't actually steal my man's or anything? Can't wait for a what? Can't wait for a what? Also, I'm not even a person! <laughs> so maybe we ain't together. And that's just, I'm collecting candies for some. She's such a You'll knock him. You'll knock him right out of the park. I just know it. No need to be shy. You're very likable. Very sweet. Besides, I'll be here with you always. Or 
was. Where the fuck's the candy boys? <laughs> no, it's on the upside. Ugh. I feel like me if I talk like that. You talk. I hope it loops around. No, I'm just sort of can I aimlessly running for a while. Yeah, we made it. Peace suffering to my I'm in love with the house now. Oh yes, come to me, housey boy. Eat me. Eat me, mister. Hey, what? I'm gonna read that note. I know it might tell me what's up. It was your choice. Happy ghosts. I want to find some candy. We're gonna start out by going straight down. Oh, hello. What are the buttons for? I think they, they involve. Buttons are definitely involved. There it is. 
There is no candy. We're so sweet. Damn it, I thought we were friends, well girl. Weren't my flavor. Guess it wasn't her flavor. I pushed, you pulled. What kind of. <laughs> Hello! Yes, knock knock. Who's there? What, like jump scare? Jump scare? Oh no, there's no jump scare on time. Thanks, game. You made me walk down this one wide corridor. <laughs> Hi. I don't really want to turn around. I'm gonna do it. like sweet things. This was never about ghosts or ghouls or candied sweets. Tick tock, tick tock. Please open the door. I put myself into this situation selfishly, righteously. I kept coming, coming. I knocked. He let me in. I was never a friend. To either of them, really. I just wanted to feel... Lick, lick. Okay. Is that what you wanted to feel? Hi. Ah, like a piece of candy. Okay, we go on sexual, boys. Like a sweet thing. 
open the door. Or maybe it was I that closed it. You that closed it. Tick tock. Tick tock. I'm a bother. I'm accepting it. Hello. I hear you, Mr. Tentacle. Fire. Well, that's just pillars of flame. Different. Was this supposed to be the fire noise? It's supposed to be pillars of flame, pillars of like blood and veins and shit. We're back in the factory. Of course we are. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going kind to of file 12. Happy with that. Hello. We met both once again and at last. Please heed what I say and say what I heed. Tell me, when do we, where do you suppose we are? We are here, we are in a game, we are dead, or we are in purgatory. I don't know, I don't know enough to say dead or we are in purgatory. We are here, uh, I mean, that's the most straightforward one. We are in a game, seems like fourth wall breaking. Some must say we are here. And the answer is any. Why do you think we are here? The girl in red wants me. We are being played. I did something terrible. We are being played, I think. Ah, uh, that we are, child. Is it possible that all answers are in fact both correct? And incorrect. Will you embrace me? Yes. Maybe that was the problem from the start. Oh, can I change my answer, please? Leave. I'm gonna go back and try no afterwards, I think. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so I cannot. Okay, don't. Okay. I'm the worst. Why? Why him? He loves me not. But I want him. Maybe we never were, maybe we really never were friends. Maybe I just wanted you around for me. I'm terrible. I've known him for much longer. I remember the late nights we used to share as kids. Why did he choose? He always liked witches, ever since we saw that one film about the delivery witch. Interesting. I thought, for Halloween, oh, sorry, if I dress like this, it's Halloween boys, I want to matter to him. I can't stand him with her. I can't. Your 
approached me. I was hesitant, to say the least. But, your sweet talk, I love sweet things. It's not like I wanted it. But your words lured me. The sweetness that allured from you. And I convinced myself. I, it was alright. And you were just that. You were sweet. But... It felt... Artificial. And well... As the night went on... I realized this was a mistake. Tick tock, tick tock. Time passed on the clock, and with each tick and with each talk, you wore on me. Your neediness, your sweetness, tick tock, tick tock. Knock knock. There came a knocking at my bedroom door. The light switched on, and she stood there. Tick tock, tick tock. In an instant that seemed to linger forevermore, we all remained motionless. The first to react was you. You grasped me and looked at her. So primal. So needy. She did nothing but stare. Your sweet turned to sour. So desperate. Possibly... If you had never said the following, we could have all just forgotten this. But then you said, You know, you were never a friend to me. And that triggered it. A blur of blankets and flesh noise and then darkness <sighs> and the darkness settled and our eyes adjusted there are only two hearts still beating in that room life is a delicate thing she died that Halloween in a little red hood Stained with a little red blotch. Never to breathe again. To dream again. To love or hate again. I felt empty. Hollow. I couldn't register it as real. If you had left then, I don't think I would have done anything. But for you to lay back beside me afterward. That disgustingly sweet look on your face. You're a bother. You're rotten. You disgust me. Why did I fall for such a disgusting sweetness? I screamed at you. Tears swelled in your eyes. You tried to continue as if nothing was wrong. Pig. I was probably just as terrible as you. You may have been the one who initiated it, but did I worsen it? Full of contempt and rage, with a desire of vengeance, I... killed you. Two girls 
and a boy, all at fault, so maybe no fault at all. Feelings of hate, lashing out at nothing, buried. Forever looped, a dawn that never comes. The darkness swallows. I want to keep twelve for all of them. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh frick! Pretty frack! Ooh, fuck. It's tricky boys, that's what I'm saying. What? What killed me? a Marshmallow's origin story. So I've never actually played this DLC through before, so it's all new to me. So this could be Marshmallow's origin story. Maybe it's a final boss. Speak to me, you Marshmallow shit. Ugh, I'm bad at it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm streaming this. What the fuck? Give me 30 seconds. You know, as soon as I die, I'm gonna head back up and stop soon. Must 
stop streaming. I didn't realize I was doing that. Did not want to be streaming. Whoops. <sighs> yeah, sorry if anyone was watching my stream. to kill you too. Interesting. Are you coming for me, bitch? Ugh. Fuck. How do we do this? Right. How do we fight a marshmallow? Nope. Jeez. How do we... How do we juke the marshmallow? Hobbit. Gotcha. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I see. That's right, little bitches. You better keep your ass is moving. Just gonna hold up. Oh, I don't really have to track myself. Hello, house. You're my real friend, you know. I killed the girl because I was jealous. Absolutely just spending head over heels to get this diet. I ruined myself in the process. I'll bring you some candy, Mr. House. There you go, thanks. <laughs> oh, hi. It's in the water. <laughs> Nothing's in the water trap, nothing's in the fireplace. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna jump back and get an uh oh hi. She's not gonna talk to me. There is no heaven, there is no hell, no afterlife, no purgatory, I came because you let me in, you let me right in.
as they always do. I'll always be here with you. Hey, listen. I'm interested in someone now. You know her. Really, it's thanks to you that I met her. Fooling around has been fun, really. But... I think both of us knew we couldn't mess around forever. You're a wonderful friend. I can't imagine life without you. Since we were kids, you've always been watching over me. I'm lucky to have met you. I love you, just... not like that. I shouldn't have messed with you. It was wrong of me. I think we are both just lying... I think we both were just lying to ourselves, to ward off the loneliness. I'll always be here with you. You're my best friend. But we need to stop fooling around. Let's just pretend this never happened. Just forget about it. It'd make things complicated. I'll talk later, but thank you for understanding. Goodbye. <laughs> so she was cutting us. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's not what she was cutting us. No. I don't want you to. Please don't leave me. <laughs> hey there, sleepyhead. Not feeling too well again today? Decided I'd check up on you to make sure you're okay. Also, my boyfriend gives his best regards. He was worried about you, too. You know, I might have never met him if you hadn't introduced us. I'll never forget that. I'm very grateful to you. He's absolutely wonderful. He's very unique, isn't he? He says you two have been friends since you were both young. He says you both used to have sleepovers and watch movies all the time. They really used to call you Kiki. That's so cute. The blushing. Oh my gosh, he actually did call you that. That's adorable. So happy to have met him. He's quite the silly one, isn't he? <laughs> Please do not cut yourselves. I'm being punished, aren't I? What did I do to deserve this? Just recently met her. Why did I introduce them? Why did I... Yourself like that, you know, that's just fucking no, don't do that. Just don't cut yourself. Sweet. The farthest lie from what I am. The life the people the lie that people actually believe. I'm not sweet. I'm not kind. There are all, all sorts of things that lay beneath which, that which we consider the truth. That which we consider real. Taking's much older than man, much older than the earth itself. I haven't gone anywhere. They're always here, with us, observing us. If you take away the light that illuminates us, that which blinds us from the truth, all you have left is darkness. <laughs> My grandfather was an avid believer in such darkness. A layer to reality that we humans could not normally see. He used to tell me stories about great entities, about lonesome monsters, about a force that manipulated our plane of existence, <laughs> doing so almost unconsciously. Those who seek it would disappear into the night. He believed these people became one with this unconscious force. My grandfather was a wise man. I'm not sweet, or a nice person. There's a local legend my grandfather was especially fond of. The face. The smiling one. The grinning demon. <laughs> it was known by many names. My grandfather believed this legend not only to be true, 
he claims to have seen the demon. And before my poor grandmother passed away, he'd find her talking to the walls. I was no simple case of dementia. She'd start saying things, rambling on at what at first seemed like nothing but nonsense. The thing is, everything she said in her rambles, it all came true. It was almost as if she were reciting things. Things that are not yet to come. Things that were yet to come and happened yet. My grandfather approached her about this, scared and concerned, but also curious. My grandmother did nothing but stare back at him and give him an odd grin. Something was obviously wrong. One night, as they lay to rest, he pretended to fall asleep, lying there motionless. An hour or two passed, but eventually Grandmother got up. She walked out of the room. Some distance away, he could faintly hear her whispering to herself. No, not to herself. Grandfather swore he could hear someone whispering back. A day later, my Grandmother died. Or at least, that's what they say. Her body was never found. There were no signs of a break-in, or anything, or of anything stolen. Even all of her belongings were left behind. You will question my grandfather what happened to her, but he refused to speak to them. Many suspected it was he that did it, but no one pressed any further. It was a quiet country town that didn't want any trouble. It was years later before he finally told me what happened. I was curious and asked about it, and he confided in me something he had never told anyone else. What had gone down the night Grandmother disappeared. <laughs> the night she vanished, he pretended once more to go to sleep and wait for Grandmother to get up and leave. This time, however, he followed her. Carefully. Silently. As he crept down the dark hallways, he spotted a faint light coming from a crack beneath one of the doors. A candle. He heard her whispering to herself, excitedly. He hid in the nearby guest room and waited for her. She took a while, but eventually she opened the door and left, going off back to bed. He waited a few moments, and then crept into the room. The candle still wavered on the desk, shining dimly, casting an orange glow. He glanced around. However, he spotted nothing in the room. As he began to think he was maybe just old and scared, and the atmosphere of the night was just getting to him, he heard a single giggle. He quickly turned around, and in the corner of the room, some figure stood in complete darkness. Nothing but a crescent-shaped grin shone unnaturally through the dark. He approached cautiously, Closer and closer. Her. I think I know who this demon is. <laughs> the voice sounded as if it had whispered directly into his ear. A cold fear gripped him. He doesn't remember anything else after that. I have taken to my grandfather's research. Legends have told that the grinning, de the grinning demon was a deed doer, that it delighted in giving people what they asked for when they summoned it, summoned via tough and painful ritual, that it could manage to do most things asked of it. In return, you make a contract with the grinning demon. The price, your very being. Apparently, it doesn't want to possess or hurt me, though. It just wants to talk. Now, one day, when the contract is up, it'll sweep you away into the night. At least, that's how most of the stories go. Some dude depicts it in a much more light-hearted or gruesome way. <laughs> I'm not a nice person. Sweet girl, I'll summon the demon and make my wish. 
that him and I can be by each other's sides for all eternity. Under one, hello, this is a small ice capture field. <laughs> Not tired at all. <laughs> so that was it. What do I think? Hmm. Well, overall, I think it is Marshmallow's origin story. She is the sister thing. Well, I, I thought it was just. I don't know, that's what bothered me. It was just like brother and sister. She was talking about our oh, mom. That's what bothered me about this, but it's Marshmallow's origin story. They are together forever. It's just a murderous machine at the end, though. That's what happens to them. That red girl is the first victim. Maybe that's why all the kids appear in this sort of red blob. Yeah. Okay, but I'm, well, actually, I might just go back and say no anyway, just to see what happens. Thanks for the time. Well, the green is up there. Hi. Hi, it's green. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for playing. No problem. You can do it as well. Maybe it's Red Haze. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll play Red Haze soon. I'll see what happens. Just wanna go and see. my fucking mams. Wait, no. So. Yeah, that's. Hmm. I'm not sweet. Ending bonus of change. I wonder. Maybe it's beginning ending. I'm just gonna jump back in for the last bit, see what's up with us. Yes. So it's 12. Let's see what happens if we say no. We start off down a different path. I will cut it off, I think. Here's what I say and say what I hear. Tell me, what are you supposed to We are in a game that we are. Why do you think you am trapped here? Is there a fully trap? Trapped. Trap. ED. Thank you. Putting us always on that. Well, that all answers are in fact both correct and incorrect. Embrace me. No. That is unlike you. Uh, so it doesn't do anything. So I didn't see any opportunities for another end. Yeah. So we're just in the same thing. So, yeah. I'm gonna die right here real quick. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the flip side where I might do some red haze. Who knows? See ya.